Hi guys, my name is Josh, and today I have a bunch of uh, photos of my Voltor upper receiver, and I'm going to try and uh, describe what I'm doing in these photos. At the end of the video, you'll see that this real steel upper receiver does fit with a airsoft lower receiver. This is a WE uh, M4 that we are working on. First photo, as you can see, we have our Voltor upper receiver on our WE lower and right now we just have the full first pin at the front of the receiver in and the rear pin out now currently the upper is just resting on top of the lower and without any force it just sits there like that now in this image you can see me putting a little bit of force down on the upper to the lower and it still isn't going down to the correct uh, placement so we're gonna have to do a little work here so here we have both of the receivers beside each other on the right we have the airsoft one and on the left we have the real steel one now as you can see on the right hand one the airsoft one we have uh, a bit uh, thinner uh, sides so like right underneath or right underneath the uh, injection port uh, it looks like it's a bit thinner as well as the other side and uh, the most obvious difference is right behind that uh, we have these little uh, indents or these uh, cutouts for the airsoft uh, one and uh, this the little indents are for this this is the uh, trigger mechanism and uh, right along here you can kind of see it sticks out of the receiver a bit. Now that kind of just fits right into the uh, airsoft one and in the real steel one we're going to have to modify that. Now I have seen people modify their lower to uh, accommodate the real steel but I like to be able to swap from my airsoft to my real steel one without you know having any difficulties or uh, differences when I do that. If you remember from previous images, we had the real steel and the airsoft beside each other. Now this is the real steel one and anything that you see that is shiny and uh, it shows metal has been machined with a Dremel. The Dremel was a critical tool in making this fit with my gun. Uh, first of all, along these side rails, uh, you had to rumble it down quite a significant amount to get a good fitment. Now, I don't know the exact amount I did rumble it down, but I do know I was there for quite some time. Now, it may vary uh, per gun, but uh, you will probably go through at least one Dremel sanding bit. Now, I also used the sanding tool to make the back end of it a bit smoother uh, when it is shutting. Now you may notice uh, you still have fitment issues. That is because you still haven't cut out your trigger assembly. I cut out my trigger assembly area with a abrasive tool that comes with the Dremel and it is typically burgundy in colored and what I did is I just slowly took pieces off until it was pretty rough, then grabbed the sanding tool bit and another uh, bit that helped smoothen it out just to give it a bit uh, more of a visually appealing look. Everyone's upper receiver and build is going to be different and these steps aren't exactly in order. There was just whatever I had pictures for aligned up and so I want to give you a bit of a tip when you go to put the upper on the lower and uh, you can get the front pin in but you can't get the back one in or you can and it's really stiff to get out just kind of leave it like that uh, I've had mine a little bit tight for the past few months and then over the course of that just shooting around in the backyard is loosened off uh, quite significantly when I finished my project it, I, I needed a tool to take off or separate the upper from the lower with that back pin. Now I can just push the pin through and then pull it out from the other side which is pretty much perfect. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your builds, uh, just speaking from personal experience. 
Uh, like I said, everyone's is going to be different, and uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was also very informational on how you can install a real gun up receiver onto your airsoft gun, in particular a WE airsoft gun. And uh, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and like the video for me, and you can favorite it, share it, whatever. And uh, leave me a comment how yours turned out or how I can improve this video. Now I do have a few other videos of building this AAC Honey Badger with a WE gas blowback. And uh, there will be links in the description below or click on the screen.